Celebrating Black History on Wish TV. Today marks the first day of Black History Month, and we're shedding light on those who made history in the past and are in the process of making the future brighter. Wish TV's Alexis Rogers starts our series of stories with the shift in the racing world due to Force Indy and NXG Youth Motorsports. Racing for equality and change. History is happening before our eyes. Changing the culture of racing is happening in an intentional way in our own backyard. From Force Indy to NXG Racing, the blueprint of racing is changing. The sound of the engine and the wheels hitting the pavement is etched in the DNA of the Circle City, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and the drivers aspiring to conquer it. The Brickyard is home to some of the best stories of innovation, redemption, and hope, which got turned up another notch by black business leader and former team manager Rod Reed with the creation of NXG and Force Indy. Force Indy as a race team is competing in open wheel racing just like IndyCar. And we compete on what's called the road to Indy. That's the ladder system. Reed is Force Indy's team principal and has helped bring thousands into the world of racing, starting with NXG. NXG Youth Motorsports is a non-for-profit organization that was set up primarily to introduce um, young people to motorsports. Our target audience for that is uh, African-American kids in the ages of 11 to 16. And we've been doing that for 15 years. NXG is the face of the future of racing culture, and it's allowed even more efforts like Force Indy to blossom. Force Indy was sort of an outgrowth of not just NXG, but also some of the things that I've been doing in motorsports for a lot of years. I used to be a team manager back in the 80s and uh, had an opportunity with some of the new folks uh, at IMS and in the Penske Entertainment Organization to talk about this challenge of having African Americans in, in motorsports and the idea and the notion of running and creating a team that is led by a black person like myself and uh, having a focus of bringing in um, talent from the black community was how Force Indy started. To have them involved in, in racing and to be able to become this pipeline so that we have people of color and especially women moving into all levels of, of motorsports. So that's what Force Indy is all about. So if you think about it like, like baseball, you know, there's single A, double A, triple A, and then the majors. This is the same thing in uh, IndyCar and open wheel racing. We are competing at that single A level, and that's a program and a series called USF 2000. And then you move up from there to uh, Indy Pro 2000, Indy Lights, and then you would move into Indy Car. When you first got into racing, what was the culture like before, you know, 15 or odd years ago? In the 80s, there were just a handful of uh, young black men and women who were racing. And the industry, the sanctioning bodies, and folks in and around motorsports were not as receptive to us being there. Would you say that we're in the midst of a historic moment, especially within not only motorsports, but when it comes to culturally the black community being involved in something that's such a deep imprint in Indiana, especially? When we think about just our existence here in America, and we think about all of the things that we do to, um, uh, to have a well-rounded life, um, you know, sports are a part of it. A true race for equality and change happening before our eyes. Lots of exciting things happening. Force Indy will compete in the USF 2000 series, which is part of the Road to Indy system that leads to IndyCar scholarship opportunities. And NXG Motorsports will continue to allow access for kids at younger ages. They both start racing again in just a few months. I'm Alexis Rogers for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.